YXZ, Doug, we just saw Cletus rip this thing super hard. <laughs> saw some parts on there that might not have been mentioned yet so let's do this it has been a whirlwind of activity so we had to work ahead a little bit now we're back enough to catch up on all the things that have happened so there's oh my gosh <laughs> you guys are matching with the cute little shirts by That's the way cute shirts. Shirt, these man. shirts are freaking sweet dude <laughs> anyway okay good shirt good shirt anyway so yeah if you saw the cletus video if you saw you know our last video from the dunes you probably saw that the yxz's got some cool new parts in it because one of those parts really stands out wow what is that yeah. beautiful thing so that sucker there is an aem cd7 oh so aem if you don't know stands for advanced engine management and they have got all sorts of things to make your stuff run properly to monitor what you're doing to adjust what you're doing correctly so if you recall the last time we spent a bit of time with the yxz trying to tune it trying to get it turned up basically weren't having a great time because we just didn't have proper data acquisition. And I know, you know, you guys have been saying get on the dyno. I, I, you know, I know, I know, but this is kind of like, it's kind of like an underdog build, right? It's an underdog machine. So we're Dang trying right. to see like, what can you do in a two car garage? So we're putting off, you know, that level of professional help as long as we can. And instead we're getting all the proper equipment to really, you know, take a look at what this machine is doing, being able to data log what this machine is doing so we can tune it properly, you know, right here in the backyard. So boom, that's where AEM comes in. We got their CD7 dash. They've got a plug and play kit for the YXZ. Really? Okay. We've added a couple other accessories um, that allow us to do some special stuff, like integrate some new sensors into the dash. And basically what you have here is a completely customizable monitoring and, you know, data logging system. You know, we'll get into the details a little bit, but this sucker will do absolutely whatever you want it to do. It will look like whatever you want it to look like. It's completely 100% customizable. You can bring in any imaginable sensor and look at it on the dash, data log it with everything else. It's that is awesome. super duper cool. So how it's set up currently is it's taken all the stock inputs we had before it displays them on the dash. And then we've also added their X-Series inline um, AFR gauge or AFR sensor. So new sensor there, there's a new module that's wired in. Um, that is also tied into the dash, so we'll be able to monitor AFR and data log AFR right there. And then we're also gonna be adding a new boost controller um, with an analog output that we'll be able to data log as well. We haven't gotten quite that far yet, but Dang. That'll be, yeah, that'll be the next step. So this stuff's intense, man. This is gonna take us where we need to go, you know, to really get the sucker turned up and get it tuned right so it's drivable and safe and all that good stuff. So you're telling me the YXZ is going to be ripping? Maybe today? today? Maybe today? YXZ is going to rip today. Okay. Get, yeah, I like that. We're going to get some baseline runs today. And then the tuning process is going to take a long time. So I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to get turned up today, but uh, we're going to have the tools to really get her dialed in. So. Man, so without further ado, let's just fire this thing up and see that beautiful dash. Yeah, heck yeah. I am ready to see what it looks like. Yep, yep, yep. So I haven't really got to see this yet. I'll just put key on so we can actually hear. Okay. So she's oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Yep. So. Very cool. This is, this is the screen as I've set it up currently. So I wanted it just very basic and simple for what I'm going to do. So as you can see, we got the, you know, the tack in there in a style that I think is cool. Um, we've got the four wheel drive indicator. We've also got a Jeep. This is, this unit is GPS enabled. So there's a GPS antenna. So there's a navigation screen in here. So oh we just God. have a little direction indicator up in the corner. We've got fuel level, gear position, a fault code readout, and then uh, important things, AFR and speed. So you'll see that AFR is correct. <laughs> Wow, give it a rest, we can see that. So it's a little lean right now, it's not too low. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's next level. Okay, so like, can you switch between screens? Is that like a... You can switch between screens. Let's just, let's go over to the laptop quick. Okay. okay. So, like, I can't 
say enough like how customizable this is you, any input any gauge you can put pictures of your family on the screen if you want it doesn't matter really? wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait, wait. so you can just like click yeah, and so add stuff you can absolutely click and add stuff so you know i put this in there if you want this in a different spot you just put it in a different spot what oh my god yeah, just to say something different you know you it, it's completely shapes sizes fonts you know here's all your all your inputs you know you can put different bar graphs in there versus value outputs you can make this thing look like absolutely anything you want Dude, and then uh, one of the greatest things I think I've ever seen in this garage. There's also multiple screens loaded in, right? So one of the screens that you okay. can just download. So AEM provides a number of templates. One of the templates they provide is just basically an emulator of the stock gauge. You know, so that's in there. You click a button on the dash, it can go to this screen. You know, here's our navigation. Oh wow! Screen. Look at that. You can click to that, and again, like any of this stuff, you just move it around. You can add. It's uh, what I, the heck, man! That's I've super cool. Barely scratched the surface of what this thing will do. It's uh, you know, it's got a shift light that's obviously all programmable. You can set alarms up on it. So I'm gonna set it up. You know, when you're making a pull, if the AFR goes a little high, she leans out. The screen will turn red. You know, to warn wow. you, it can so flash. Sick or easy. So endless, cool, man. Endless options. Like it is intense that's awesome that's yeah. next level super awesome yeah super cool man and then the wiring you know i hate to maybe go too long with this one shot thing but you said it's plug and play and that looks like a factory harness right there yeah that goes so into that. there's a uh, so there's a plug and play harness that allows you to literally mount the dash and you know so what i did i wanted it in place of the stock dash so i hacked this stuff out made a little bracket and mounted it there i'll probably come in and do something a little nicer to cover it up later you can also get a uh, ram mount from AEM that allows you to just clamp it to the roll bar, which is an easier solution. And then beyond that, there's a plug and play harness that gets the dash working super easy with all the stock inputs. So anything your stock dash, you know, has on it, you can have that piece of cake. Um, if you choose to, you know, get the GPS option, you also have that in there with the navigation. Um, and then beyond that, if you want to add extra channels, you know, say you want to log a boost controller, you want to monitor a boost controller, or you want to monitor AFR, or you want to add some engine temperature sensor that you don't have, oil temp sensor, whatever, if you want to add anything. Basically, what you do is you just add the, a CAN bus bar. So this is their four port um, CAN bar. We've added that in there and that gives you extra ports to plug those sensors into. Wow. You program the channel in the dash, you know, Takes a little bit of thought to set that stuff up, but there's good instructions. Their tech line, you know, is good. So those guys helped me out a little bit getting the channels programmed correctly. And like, it's it's super cool. Like this will be able to grow with us as we wow. add more to this thing, so. So not only is this like made for a dude like Doug who wants to, you know, log AFRs and all that stuff, but to have a dash that's that modular that you can switch to GPS and just have it right in your face. Yep. That yeah. is so cool yeah, for everybody. Right, man. Click it over to GPS. So this is the, you know, this is the seven inch version. I wanted a big Rito, you know, right in my face. Um, there's also a five inch if you want something that's more similarly sized to the stock dash. But wow, so cool. Yeah, this is going to allow us to take this thing to the next level. Make a whole bunch more boosts, get it running properly, do wheelies, go fast. Well, I like the do wheelies part. Wheelies. All the good stuff. I feel like we've seen some wheelies, but... I don't know if I can take any more excitement from this machine. Not enough. <laughs> yeah, the YXZ is getting crazy, so I think yeah. it... Uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it time to go rip, make a data log run, and check out I what we got? I think so, man. I think I'll put the hood back on it and just, uh, you know, take a second to figure out how to data log from this sucker. We'll go make a couple pulls and see where we're at. I'm positive that we're far far off <laughs> from where we need to be it's embarrassingly poorly tuned so keep just talking crap and you still beat my car <laughs> guy, you hear dude. that this guy what i a, know what a good oh it's time to go little Dougo. <laughs> it is man so leave the paddle tires on that'll be interesting i think we're gonna go over the drag strip side because yeah. it's a little softer send it a couple times over there we're at zero to 60 it just out of curiosity I don't really know what it will do on that side. It's traditionally slower, but with paddles, man, interesting overall. I feel like with race day coming up, we should start testing over there to really get it broken in. Yeah, really figure out what's gonna Smart, what's yeah. gonna work. So we'll do some zero to sixties. I think we're all set up to capture some data logs. So 
go rip it a few times, come back, take a look at the logs, see what they tell us. Be cool if you let us run the dozer, wouldn't what, it? What do you expect to see in a second? Probably explosions of power, adrenaline, desire, Douglas's hair blowing in the wind underneath his helmet. Yep. Probably some dirt flying. Hopefully we can talk him into letting us run a path with the bulldozer because he won't let us run it, even though I've always wanted to run it. Have you ever asked him to drive the bulldozer? No, I'm too scared. Oh, uh, okay. But I'm really excited to see this in the field, running at full potential. Now that he's got the, yeah. I can run it wide open. Cletus just, gave him enough, uh, he gave him the, some gusto. Yeah, he gave him uh, desire. He so wants to just run it full, full balls to the wall. Full tilt, baby. Here comes the Duggo. Oh, dang. Got a little heat in them tires. Got to heat up the tires, just like Nick said. I don't think we've ever seen anybody run a full on set of paddles out here, so that'll be pretty cool. At least Man. not on race day. You don't think the paddles are going to get messed up in this? No. Those are tough. Those are pro armor. Pro armor. And they're made out of armor, so everyone knows. Professional armor. Professional armor. Professional armor for Douglas and his friends. Ripping in the field Here again. The Here comes the wheelie. He's going to wheelie right now. I feel like he's not wheeling yet. Yeah, the field is rough right now. Let's get closer. Yeah. Wow, the dust is real. Listen to that turb ski. We should get over on that side. Yep. Warming it up like a true American. Just stand in the middle of an active racetrack. Smart. Smart. Because you smart. Is this considered an active racetrack right now? Oh, absolutely, dude. People wow. want to pay the money to come out here. That's a good point. We have had people ask if they can pay Look at to come this. test here. This is the line right here. Yeah, I'm not sure where the line is. I think Doug's assuming the line is right there. Wow. I want to see a little fire breathing freaking. I know. Exploding out of the tailpipes. Exploding in the sky. People dying. Oh. oh! Tough break. Okay, what broke? <laughs> oh. If I had to guess, I would guess rear end. I think you guessed right, bud. Oh, wow. Whew. Wow. wow. She split the case. Unbelievable well, amounts of power. That's, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. I think I mean, we could have seen that coming. I didn't see it coming. Is dude. it that much of a surprise? No, this ground is pretty hard. So, I mean, just a lot of traction. And that was about, you know, a 10 pound boost launch. I was really going to just send it. For, <laughs> I was doing it for Dale, man. I was trying to do it for Dale. Just going to send it, man. <laughs> no. Wow. We're... Yeah, that's unfortunate, man. I Where mean, I don't know. I think it's more towards the front. Dude. Yeah, it blew the front out. I saw it. I thought. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see it just broke. I don't want to touch the exhaust, but you can see where it pulled the bolts out of the case. So basically, it just took the pinion and just pulled it apart. Can you see, see that? Yeah. Right there? Yeah, let me see if we can. Is that can drive get shaft little, okay? That coupler on the front? Focus. It looks like it took a little something. The little cover took a hit, which is not a huge deal. That's replaceable. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. It was cool for a half second, and then it became <laughs> really uncool. <laughs> really uncool. I mean, we, yeah, we've reached the point where, you know, we might have to just manage the level of power. You know, we might have to bring it out on a little less boost and roll the boost in. Uh, you know, we may have to do something beyond the stock differential. So this is a stock 19 differential, which is upgraded from the previous years, but... It held together well all weekend, which was key. That was ideal. 
Yeah, it made lots of passes in the sand. Yeah, but no I mean, problem. the level of traction you just achieved right now was... <sighs> yeah, I really just, <sighs> you know, I really thought it was going to do a wheelie off the line. I was Everybody waiting was going to cheer. He saw it. I cheered it when he came I like, go, oh, he's going to do a wheelie. Nick <laughs> yeah, he said he, yeah. Uh, you uh, wow. wow. Well, man, I don't know where that leaves us for the video. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> what? That what was at, so hot. What are you it looking just, at? Oh Snap. yeah, I it's see that so now. Crazy. Yeah, I didn't yep. see that from that other angle. Wow. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh yeah. Oh yikes. Yikes. Well, we could probably go back and see. I think you know we'll probably have captured some logs from just running around. Yeah. So let's go back and look at the logs because this could take us a while to sort out. Yeah. I really want everybody to see the AEM setup. So let's go back, take a look at some logs. You know, maybe we can flash back to a time when this thing wasn't broken, making a couple <laughs> runs to make everybody feel better. <laughs> We'll talk about the data logs. You did it, dude. Hey, you did it, dude. You made so much power, you just exploded everything. Dude. Yeah, that's a tough break. Wow. All right. Well, we it's have like to... bittersweet. It kind of sucks, but it's also awesome that you're putting down this much power. You just explode the rear end, dude. Man, it just exploded. Didn't right. sound good. No. <laughs> no. Yikes. I thought it was an axle at first, but then I immediately saw oil and said this. That's a rear time. end. That's a rear end. Well, boys, hope you guys enjoyed those clips of the YXZ in better days. Good thing we have the Defender ripping. We have Doug getting towed up. Not totally sure the pinion and ring gear actually failed, but we think it just split the case really heavy. And in lieu of wanting to break it even worse, we just decided to tow it up. That doesn't sound good. Oh man, tough break. Well, we're still gonna pull the data logs off this thing. He did make a couple little part bottle pulls, so we'll be able to really see what that looks like and kind of uh, prepare ourselves for, on that side. prepare ourselves for doing some data logging in the future when we get a new diff on this thing. Gosh. All right, Doug, we got the tough break mobile out here <laughs> and uh, we're getting some data logs. So show them maybe how you have it, this set up. Maybe it's finally got a project name now. Tough break. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so we I guess we didn't go over this earlier. So the dash comes with a you know basically a little pigtail and you can mount it's just a USB connection, a mini USB. You can mount that wherever. So I've just mounted it in the uh you know the steering wheel uh, steering column shroud here. It's got a little sealed cap on it, you pop that off, plug right into it, and Boom. this is going to be how you you know customize and change things on your dash and also how you uh pull data logs. Okay, so awesome man. Plug this in. From here, I assume they provide you with some sort of software. Yeah, oh, wow, is, it's already here? There is a software. No, that's a sample uh, okay. sample log that's on when you open it. So software is called AEM Data. This is the first time I've even opened it, so I don't really know a whole lot about it. But Well, let's let you, know. you figure this out, and we get back to the garage. We can actually see the screen. Yeah, so I'm going to download at some the logs. log, and then we'll come in where we can uh, see stuff. Sweet, man. Okay, this is really, really cool. Look at that. Data. Data. All right, we're back in the garage. Doggo's got the data logs going. The logs. Yeah, so we saved it off. I just called it YXZ Run 1. It was real simple to do, so we're going to open that. Hopefully see some data here. I see lots of data over here. Let's see. So here's some things we don't need. Oh, a compressor map, man. Yeah, we don't need to look at that right now. Pretty importante. Importanta? Importado. Okay, so we might have to go in and set up our channels. All right, I'll let you figure this out. I thought we were ready. Give us a little bit. We'll figure it out. That's how you know this is the first run, man. We got the daters, dude. We got some data. So we didn't get as much data as we intended, and this is the reason why. Inside your dash designer, um, you have to go in and tell it what you want to data log. So on some of the things we were looking for, we didn't set the log rate. Really simple thing to do, first time using it. We didn't do that for all the channels uh, that we wanted. But anyways, we did get a couple channels just to kind of demonstrate how this works. So nice, okay. Very important to look at 
white line is fuel level <laughs> and the yellow line is battery voltage but, but hey we got data so that's all that matters so you can see how this works obviously we'll uh you know square that away for future runs which aren't going to be today but uh yeah you know so once you have this this is uh you know the scale up here is time so this is about a three minute go. log tip it maybe get some of the sun out of there oh here we go okay cool and again this is a you know a very very capable software that you can do lots and lots of things with but you know this is the basis of it you see got time across the top the run yeah and you can drag across and you know watch live you know what things are doing throughout the run in this case we're seeing the fuel level bouncing around fuel sloshing in the tank battery voltage you know dropping a little bit when we gave her the beans it's probably where we gave her the beans right there where is then, the uh, is there a differential data that's, point that's where we shut it off yeah differential uh goodness graph it would be straight across and then it would be straight down a right massive there. down slope <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is going to be an excellent tool i wish we could do more with it today unfortunately we can't because we've broken the yxz badly but <laughs> <laughs> badly. it's pretty much nick's fault <laughs> give her the beans bubba he give her the beans do channel me. cletus he come on hear me. no i was giving it the beans without any input <laughs> that's a good <laughs> for point sure so We'll be back anyways with uh, a new diff and or beefed up rear diff, probably a little different rear tire selection in the dirt. And we'll be doing a bunch more runs. We'll be looking at the logs. We'll be using those to, you know, really build out our fuel maps and get everything running well. And then uh, we'll start cranking the boost up. So she's at like 15, 16 pounds now. We're looking to go well up into the 20s. And that needs to happen before race day. So. Which is a month out. Yeah, time's a little tight, but. <sighs> exciting stuff <laughs> just to think about how much more boost it's not there i know my Please gosh there's a ton it. left on the table it's so brutal right now yeah so if you wanted to buy this stuff do you maybe nick knows do you know where we need to go to to buy any so okay get this by the way mm -hmm. we could sell anything from aem yeah we have a direct connection do you need anything from aem in, what, in the world in the world yeah in, anything in the world in the world what do they make lots of stuff pretty much everything and anything that you could possibly imagine they make it's kind of a household name yeah so due to the spirit of the store we're only going to list the things that we're running but we can get you anything and where where would we get that from you remember you know I, nick i don't remember something something on the internet that starts with an <sighs> s okay and then there's an x after it okay maybe another s okay <sighs> then there's a b and then an o or an l and then an o and a g wow and something then there's like a that. p and then oh. an a and an r and a t and an s and then a .com and a <laughs> what? Uh, Sideblogparts.com. Side we okay. will have these available um, and on the site hopefully by the time this video drops. So yep. if you guys are interested in this, it's a really, really great tool, especially if you're getting into turbos and stuff and trying to, you know, look at channels, look at sensors, look at things that didn't come, you know, with the machine stock. Like this thing is, like I said, we've only scratched the surface. It's right. super capable. It's super cool. So we'll be back with more on it later, hopefully getting the sucker turned up, sending her hard. And uh, yeah, that's that for the day, unfortunately. Tough but break. Thanks for being with us anyways, even though we just break our stuff all the time. <laughs> really appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. We got all sorts of really cool stuff coming the last part of this year. It's gonna get really crazy. So thank you. Um, if you're buying parts on the parts site, thank you to everybody out there who's donating on Patreon. We greatly greatly appreciate it want to make sure you guys know that so yeah we'll be back a couple days from now with more good stuff and we'll see you guys then